Um, at this farm in St Bride's Major and it's a question that farmers and consumers across the UK are constantly asking. Is it possible to make sure that when we head into the shops and go and get our weekly food shop that food is a cheap enough price for us but also making sure that our farmers are getting a fair deal for their produce which of course is their livelihood. Now there's nobody else better to speak to about this than Polly. We're on her farm this morning. Thank you so much for joining us on the breakfast programme Polly. We've got food security, sustainability and affordability is it possible to have all three things well Lily I really don't think it is I think um, from a farmer's perspective food is at the moment too cheap there is of course loads of people who can't afford the current product but I think it's the government's job to step up for that and um, if we continue to try and make our food as cheap as possible we will lose the battle as farmers and as a food producing nation um, it's we have to pay our minimum wage is way higher than many many other countries and if we go have a fight to the bottom and have the cheapest product possible then we we will not win that battle we will export we will we'll import all our food and our whole farming industry would collapse at the moment we've got the ongoing war kind of in ukraine and we're also dealing with the cost of living crisis as well yeah. how are those two big factors kind of playing into the ambition to have cheap food and also make sure that you're getting paid a decent wage I think uh, the interesting thing about the war in Ukraine is the shock that to the arable prices especially because uh, Ukraine was a massive wheat producing nation and it maybe still can be in the future but we just don't know uh, and the moment that, that increases the value of the crops in the UK which is so important because they have been undervalued for such a large pe period of time and it's just so important for the general public to understand the complexities and uh, the um, the detail of how food is produced because that knowledge has completely been lost for like our grandparents or great grandparents would have no, would generally know how food was produced and that knowledge is all gone so people are just not putting the same value and the same price on food at the moment so how can consumers kind of across the uk support farmers like you uh, i'd say buy local uh, buy organic and buy uh, nature friendly food as, um, as much as you can and as much as you can afford and just really engage with the local producers in your area. There definitely will be local producers all across the UK and they really care about their food, they really care about the animals and they really care about nature so you just got to hunt them out and maybe don't go for the easy option and go to the supermarket and just maybe spend this bank holiday just hunting out and finding local shops around you. Lovely stuff. Well, thank you so much for having us on your farm this morning, Polly. When it comes to food sustainability, um, security and affordability, it's very, very complicated. But it seems like it has to be a team effort to have any chance at having all three. But for now, back to you.